Albert Einstein. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. We can't solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them. Great spirits have always encountered violent opposition from mediocre minds. Never lose a holy curiosity. The important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. Once we accept our limits, we go beyond them. We still do not know 1,000 of 1% of what nature has revealed to us. The monotony and solitude of a quiet life stimulates the creative mind. The most incomprehensible thing about the world is that it is comprehensible. The joy in looking and comprehending is nature's most beautiful gift. Education is what remains after one has forgotten what one has learned in school. The world is a dangerous place to live, not because of the people who are evil, but because of the people who don't do anything about it. If you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. The only source of knowledge is experience. He who can no longer pause to wonder and stand wrapped in awe is as good as dead. His eyes are closed. Few people are capable of expressing with equanimity opinions which differ from the prejudices of their social environment. Most people are even incapable of forming such opinions. It stands to the everlasting credit of science that by acting on the human mind, it has overcome man's insecurity before himself and before nature. We cannot despair of humanity since we ourselves are human beings. All these primary impulses, not easily described in words, are the springs of man's actions. Whoever is careless with the truth in small matters cannot be trusted with important matters. The value of a man 
should be seen in what he gives and not in what he is able to receive. Try not to become a man of success, but rather try to become a man of value. Weakness of attitude becomes weakness of character. Morality is of the highest importance, but for us, not for God. Never do anything against conscience, even if the state demands it. Our task must be to free ourselves by widening our circle of compassion to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature and its beauty. Only one who devotes himself to a cause with his whole strength and soul can be a true master. For this reason, Mastery demands all of a person. I believe that a simple and unassuming manner of life is best for everyone, best both for the body and the mind. In order to be an immaculate member of a flock of sheep, one must above all be a sheep oneself. Everyone should be respected as an individual, but no one idolized. Whoever undertakes to set himself up as a judge of truth and knowledge is shipwrecked by the laughter of the gods. In matters of truth and justice, there is no difference between large and small problems, for issues concerning the treatment of people are all the same. True religion is real living, living with all one's soul, with all one's goodness and righteousness. We should take care not to make the intellect our goal. It has, of course, powerful muscles, but no personality. Anger dwells only in the bosom of fools. Force always attracts men of low morality. You cannot simultaneously prevent and prepare for war. I am not only a pacifist, but a militant pacifist. I am willing to fight for peace. Nothing will end war unless the people themselves refuse to go to war. It is my conviction that killing under the cloak of war is nothing but an act of murder. Politics is for the present, but our equation is for eternity. It gives me great pleasure indeed to see the stubbornness of an incorrigible, nonconformist warmly acclaimed. The devil has put a penalty on all things we enjoy in life. Either we suffer in health, or we suffer in soul, or we get fat. Sometimes, one pays most for the things 
one gets for nothing. Few are those who see with their own eyes and feel with their own hearts. Memory is deceptive because it is colored by today's events. Solitude is painful when one is young, but delightful when one is more mature. It is strange to be known so universally and yet to be so lonely. Love is a better teacher than duty. 